chip. So looks like we have the uh, Yoshi Story Pig and SDVR wanting to start with a ton. So they're gonna open up with that. SDV is gonna be trying to get some wall of pains out as Falco can be up throw rested, she can probably get some pretty early kills with that puff being very powerful in this matchup. But Bird probably isn't gonna just let that happen to him. Probably gonna be able to get a few combos off, even though it's Puff. Oh, and, and that down tilt's gonna take it. One thing to note is that Puff is an incredibly light character, and Yoshi's has a very small blast zone. But Double Fair is gonna take it and immediately bring it back to an even stock situation. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's looking like they're both trying to space each other out using lots of aerials. Birdbrain actually so. DIing in on that up tilt, something that's not very safe to go for as Puff can just get jab reset if you're not prepared to tech, or Puff can just go for another up tilt and then get rest, which is a consistent setup on probably half of the cast. So that is not something you want to be playing with, but the mix up can be good sometimes if the opponent is not expecting you to have bad DI. Speaking of DI, that was some good DI from uh, Steven there to not die to that back air. Yeah, rollout is going to be a problem as rollout is very hard to deal with a lot of the time once it comes out. And it can uh, it can be really powerful along with the amount of shield pressure it can put up if you're good with turnarounds. The only thing realistically that Bird can do is get laser because laser is unclankable so it will just go through the rollout. Looks like we got back and reset to neutral. Falco trying to just get in and get one or two hits because realistically he can't really get a combo off of Puff, but... And that's going to be a stock taken. Yeah, SDV is really... just able to do that really easily. Yeah, SDV is doing a good job of getting these games. Falco, of course, having a very bad recovery. He doesn't really have any answer to that or to get out besides throwing got a move to try and contest it hoping for randall and the double jump got caught oh, that's from a it. randy forward air eating the jump and causing him to lose his stock that's gonna that was game one and I think that was a pretty good performance from Steven there to really SDV did a good job of just take taking advantage of Puff's advantage tools and just run all over Falco for most of the game. Unfortunately, Birdbrain wasn't able so to get So now we're going to head into game two, it looks like. Going to WarioWare, interesting pick, and the character switch to Marth. I assume that Bird swapped to Marth because he didn't want to get gimped at such an early percent. So, this is kind of just like an answer to that, because he has a better recovery now. If SDV plays, pu uh, plays Puff correctly though, the these offstage uh, edge guards and games should still be working. Just like you see there, Marth just dies incredibly early to that. In this reset neutral position, Bird's really going to need to get one opening, but he doesn't. And STV just gets more hits on. Bird's really just struggling to get in and get more than a hit when he hits his opponent, and that's the problem. Doesn't really seem to have much puff matchup experience. He's gonna SD right there. STV kinda just walking away with this. Good ledge cancel air dodge there, but is gonna get Tipper F smashed. Gonna kill really early knowing WarioWare's side blast zones and the fact that it's buff. Bird was probably hoping on the fact that this stage is not a stage that a lot of players are comfortable on. So he was probably trying to get a position where he could just take advantage of his opponent not really having much room to move and not really knowing what to do. But unfortunately that is not going to be the case for him and... 
STB is holding his own and even doing much better than Bird is in this match here. Doesn't get the grab out of down air, but still gets some decent hits there. It's the forward smash trying to get him off stage and get a disadvantage state. But well, Bird's gonna recover there even without the sweet spot. That was a good F smash to set him off, and now he's gonna try recovering with rollout. Surprised that he wasn't just stuck in the weird roll animation. If I remember correctly, I think Puff can jump out of that. Puff? I'm not I sure though. Don't know. I don't think Puff can. I think it's a strict amount of lag on it. It's the forward throw there. Forward throw being a strong move, but doesn't get the rest combo. It's gonna get reverse up beat for it. Gotta be, uh, rest is usually a big gamble, especially on a character like Marth, where there's not really any surefire answers to anything, or a lot of really good confirms. I mean, a lot of confirms can still work, like weak forward air or weak nair for, an, for examples, but... Good shield, doesn't hesitate to grab. One thing Bird. I mean, when you're down. Uh, one thing Bird could have done there was. When you're about 100%, you can really just go for that risk. Good tipper F smash from Bird right there. Tries to get that forward smash, but doesn't quite get it. And Marth is just gonna come in here, get a few hits. Isn't really gonna get too much out of it. Does get that up smash though. We're just really need to gonna find it. We're gonna need to find an answer to a lot of what SDB is putting out, or it's just gonna get too old. SDB doesn't get the punish on the SDB. This is looking close though. A couple, f few. Oh, and never mind. That's going to do it. Back air is gonna kill Mark at that percent. And that's a 2-0 from Steven over Birdbrain.